Looking at the case study for this week, we're going over the battle for value, FedEx Corp versus United Parcel Service, UPS. And what we're looking at this case study is first of all to go over what is UPS, what is FedEx, really big shipping companies in the U.S. Uh, this industry, first of all, has been experiencing massive growth, not just with the um, popularity of online shopping and everything that is happening with the internet, but simply that a lot there's a lot more shipping going on the economies have been growing world economy US economy has been growing rapidly over the last 10 years and shipping and delivery is growing with that economy so this is a tremendous industry and you know we're looking to compare in this case study read through the market the industry the each of the companies and it's a very very intense competition very very intense between the two of them question is how are they utilizing their specific capital structures, their specific resources to compete with each other. But the two distinct things that come out from the case study that I want you to focus on in your reading and your discussion is this, you know, different focus where FedEx is focuses on this faster express delivery and that's where it's been growing more. And UPS focuses more on the ground, and that's where it, where it dominates. And in general, there's a different company culture. UPS has more of the unionized workforce. FedEx has more of a modern, modern workforce. So there's a little bit of a difference there. And the other piece that I want you to really look at, it, you look at their financials, also see if you can find it on Yahoo and Bloomberg, so you can actually see a little bit more. FedEx actually has been reinvesting into the business very aggressively. So they are investing into their business in a, in a massive way. Their, their stock performs a little bit different uh, because of that. As you see from 2010 to 2015, the revenue for FedEx has really been growing pretty rapidly, uh, both internationally and in the U.S. So in the U.S. we have going from 24 billion to 34 billion okay and then international from about 10 billion to 13 billion so both at about 30 percent growth a little bit of even higher so looking at UPS the growth is a little bit more modest from from th about 13 to 13 international so it's a bit of flat internationally for revenue and we do see a lot of growth in the US in, uh, in UPS but clearly FedEx is more focused on the international growth. FedEx is more focused on the higher margin, higher revenue of the air delivery. And at the same time, think about the risk profile. UPS is a bigger company. It's, one may say it's a little bit of a safer bet given it's been around for so much longer. And it's really entrenched wherever it is um, known for almost a century by customers. So it's something to think about. And we have a lot of data here to go through and, and analyze. This is a timeline. Analyze really which company is a better investment, which company is less risky, which company carries more risk. And, and looking at the risk profile and, um, you know, really looking at their financials and going through and um, analyzing what, the, what kind of investment each of them would be.